हेलो बेटा टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू आर येस्टरडेज टॉपिक दैट इज़ द पावर रेटिंग ऑफ अप्लायंस ओके वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद दिस इंट्रोडक्शन अगेन इफ समथिंग इज रिटर्न दिस वे ऑन एनी ऑफ द अप्लायंस व्हाट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट दिस इज डिपेक्टिंग द पावर रेटिंग ऑफ द अप्लायंस एंड वॉट कैन वी अंडरस्टैंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस दिस सेज दिस इज द पावर ऑफ द अप्लायंस वेन इट वर्क एट दिस पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस मीन्स हाउ कैन वी राइट द power of appliance is 100 watt if it is working at 220 volt potential difference or instead of this we can say when it is working at 220 volt potential difference means this is the must condition if this potential difference varies the power of the appliance also varies this power rating will hold good only when this appliance works at this potential difference which is given there on the power rating of appliance okay if somebody will ask you to expand this this particular wording what can you do we we are aware this power is also given by work done per unit time or you can say energy upon time okay here in the statement i am saying the power of appliance is 100 watt so i can write down what instead of this 100 watt energy can be written as 100 joules and this is in 1 second so 100 joule upon 1 second gives 100 watt okay so how can we write down this one the power of the appliance in terms of energy i am writing the power of appliance is 100 joule is this correct no this is what i am writing in terms of energy the energy of appliance is when i am writing joule so it should be energy not power the energy of appliance is 100 joules in 1 second when appliance is working at potential difference of 220 volt if potential difference changes this power on which the appliance is working that also changes how it changes that we will discuss later on but the next question is what else we can get with the help of this power rating we can find out two more things with the help of this power rating what are these two things first one is we can find out the resistance of the appliance this power rating helps us to find out resistance of appliance and second this helps to find out the safe limit of current flowing through the appliance these are the two things which we can find out with the power rating given on the appliance so how can we find out the first one and second one we'll do it one by one resistance of appliance as we are aware power is given by v square upon r yesterday we have done this formula in our video we derived it power can be given by v square upon r this p stands for power v is potential difference r is resistance in this out of these three two are given to us so from here i can say r is equal to v square upon p that means potential difference whatever is given to us that is 220 square divided by 100 that gives the resistance and this comes to be 484 ohm that means resistance for the appliance whose power rating is 100 watt and 220 volt is given by this formula resistance is equal to v square upon p the value of potential difference is given here put this value over here the value of power is given over here put 
this value over here and we get the resistance of this particular appliance this is first thing which we can calculate with the help of the power rating second as i told you we can find out the safe limit of the current flowing through the appliance safe limit of current what is the meaning of this matlab kitna safe current uske andar se flow karta hai safe current ka matlab hai agar isse zyada current flow kiya to wo appliance ko damage kar sakta hai that's why we are saying it as safe limit of current the another formula which we did yesterday is p is equal to v into i from here we can find out i so what can we write p upon v gives you the value of i this i this value of i gives us the safe limit of the current how can we find out with the help of power rating this one from here i is equal to p upon v p is power that is given to us 100 v is potential difference that is given to us 220 when we will solve it we can find it approximately 0.5 ampere that means this current 0.5 ampere is the safe current which can easily flow through the appliance if the amount of current flowing through the appliance increases from this point 5 to some other value increases then appliance can be damaged that much amount of current if it exceeds from this point 5 that amount of current is not safe for the appliance it may damage the appliance so this way we can find out these two things to find out resistance and safe limit of current with now as i told you we calculated two things first is resistance of appliance with the help of this power rating and second is current flowing through the appliance with the help of the power rating now when we are talking about resistance if appliance is not working means suppose we are talking about bulb if bulb is not glowing the resistance of the filament of bulb is less but when bulb will start glowing the resistance of the filament of bulb will be more why it will be more because when we will start glowing the bulb when bulb will the electricity will be supplied to the bulb the temperature of the filament of the bulb increases and we are aware resistance is directly proportional to temperature if temperature of filament of bulb increases resistance also increases so sometimes this can be asked in your paper or in your question ki if some if some of the appliances is not glowing not working what will be the resistance is it different from that one when it is working yes it is different when bulb is not glowing or some other appliance is not working the resistance of the appliance is less when it will start working the resistance of the appliance will be more the second thing we talk about that is the safe limit of current i want to revise it again this value of current which we are getting from this formula p is equal to vi we are writing in general so current we are calculating with the help of this formula p upon v this value of current gives us the safe value of current if the value of current flowing through the appliance exceeds from this value the appliance may get damaged okay now with the help of this current rating what else we can find out i told you in the beginning this current rating is valid only and only when when it is working at this potential difference means the power of the appliance is 100 watt when it is working at 220 volt only if the value of the potential difference changes the value of power also changes if value of the potential difference increases the bulb will start glowing more brighter means this power increases power consumed by the appliance also increases if the value of the potential difference decreases if the value of potential difference decreases the power supplied or oh sorry the power consumed by the appliance also decreases to understand this let me explain it with the help of a uh, help of an example this particular thing what can we say if bulb is rated this way i can say you the power uh, the resistance of this bulb first we will calculate this resistance will be what that is v square upon p we can calculate it as 220 square upon power is given as 100 and when we will calculate it it is 484 ohm okay now what i am saying is i am saying if this potential difference is decreased 
if this potential difference is decreased means when the bulb is not working at this if it is working less than this then what will be the power consumed wo hame pata lagana hai so now we calculated for this bulb what for which we are talking about the resistance of that bulb is 484 ohms ye humne yahan se calculate kar liya now what we can do is we can find out power is equal to v square by r method okay and in this situation what i am saying i am saying now the bulb is working at 110 volt instead of 220 mai bolti hu ye 110 volt par kaam karta hai jab ye 110 volt par kaam karta hai to how can we find out power we can find it out v square v square kitna hai bachche ab hame kitna diya hai 110 volt 110 square what is the resistance of the bulb hum kaun se bulb ka baat kar rahe hain bulb hamare paas yahi hai bulb change nahi kiya sirf इस बल्ब को हमने 220 की जगह 110 पे काम करवाया है सो so, इस बल्ब का रेजिस्टेंस तो चेंज नहीं होगा ये तो यही रहेगा दैट विल बी 484। हंड्रेड एंड एटी फोर देन यू विल सॉल्व इट यू विल गेट दिस विल बी 25 फाइव वॉट दैट मीन्स द पावर कंज्यूम्ड बाय द बल्ब दैट इज 25 फाइव वॉट वेन इट इज वर्किंग एट 110 हंड्रेड टेन वोल्ट मतलब जब ये बल्ब 220 पर काम करता था तो ये 100 वोल्ट का पावर कंज्यूम करता था अब ये 110 सौ वोल्ट पर काम करता है तो ये 25 वोल्ट का पावर कंज्यूम करेगा बस मीन्स वॉट आई सेट दैट इज करेक्ट मैंने बोला था इफ द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस डिक्रीजेज द पावर कंज्यूम बाय द अप्लायंस डिक्रीजेस नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू आर सेकेंड सिचुएशन अब मैं बोलती हूँ कि ये इससे ज्यादा पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस पर काम करता है नाउ आई एम सेंग द बल्ब इज वर्किंग एट टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वोल्ट नाउ वॉट विल हैपन वॉट विल बी द पावर ऑफ द बल्ब दिस इज वर्किंग एट टू फिफ्टी वोल्ट सो दिस विल बी टू फिफ्टी स्क्वायर द सेम फॉर्मूला आर रेजिस्टेंस सेम बल्ब वी आर यूजिंग तो आर विल बी सेम दैट इज फोर हंड्रेड एंड एटी फोर ओम वेन यू विल कैलकुलेट इट यू विल गेट दिस विल बी वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट वन वॉट दैट मीन्स द पावर कंज्यूम्ड बाय द बल्ब इंक्रीजेस अर्लियर एट टू ट्वेंटी इट कंज्यूम्स हंड्रेड वॉट नाउ एट टू फिफ्टी इट कंज्यूम्स वन ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट वन वॉट विद दिस एग्जाम्पल आई बिलीव दिस इज वेरी क्लियर टू ईच वन ऑफ यू इफ द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज टू ट्वेंटी द कंजम्पन ऑफ पावर बाय द बल्ब इज हंड्रेड वॉट इफ द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस डिक्रीजेज द कंजम्पन ऑफ पावर ऑल्सो डिक्रीजेज इफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इंक्रीजेज द कंजम्पन ऑफ पावर ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेज गॉट इट Now to understand the concept more better we'll do one of the numerical from your book examples only this says an electric iron is rated 220 volt and 1 kilowatt this is the power rating of the electric iron okay under normal conditions it is working and what we are supposed to calculate is we need to calculate the resistance of the heating element we need to calculate the amount of current flowing through the heating element we need to calculate the heat produced Uh, uh in 5 minutes we need to calculate the power consumed if potential difference will be 180 instead of 220 volt we have to calculate all those four things and i believe we can very easily do that first one we will start with the resistance as we are talking with the help of power rating we can find out the resistance and that can be given by r is equal to v square upon p ओके व्हाट विल बी द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस हियर वन किलो वॉट दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एज थाउजेंड वॉट ओके सो दिस इज थाउजेंड स्क्वायर अपॉन व्हाट इज द पावर सॉरी पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज टू ट्वेंटी सॉरी बच्चे दिस इज टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी स्क्वायर एंड व्हाट इज पावर पावर इज थाउजेंड वॉट आई कैन राइट इट हियर थाउजेंड दैट विल बी फोर्टी ओम okay this is first thing the resistance of the heating element second they are talking about amount of current flowing through the heating element that means they are talking about the what is the safe amount of current which can flow through the heating element so we can write down i is equal to p upon v this is the formula which we were using in the previous explanation p is power that is again 1000 what will be the potential difference that is 220 when we will calculate it we can get it 4.54 amperes means this is the safe limit of the current if the value of the current exceeds this then the heating element will be damaged okay third one they are asking you that what is the heat energy produced in 5 minute they are talking about it 
form of energy heat produced so how can we say energy consumed that will be given by power into time which form of energy we are talking about heat energy so heat energy can be given by power into time what is the power here thousand what is the time they are talking about 5 minutes so first convert this 5 minute into second that is 5 into 60 seconds so that will be 300 seconds okay so then it will be 3 into 10 raised to the power 5 joule this is our third part fourth part they say is what is the power consumed if v is 180 power may kya change hoga power consumed may agar potential difference 220 na ho 180 ho jai so initially what we can do power can be calculated v square by r hum ye formula laga sakte hain v square what is given to us they are saying that this is changed instead of 220 they are saying it as now 180 so apply this 180 over here substitute it then r the resistance will remain same which we calculated over here jo humne first part mein kiya tha because the bulb oh sorry the heater or the element which we are using that is same that is 48.4 ohms and this will gives you 675 what means agar humne yahan par potential difference ko reduce kiya hai jis par ye kaam karta hai 220 se 180 so 220 par ye 1000 watt consume karta tha agar 180 reduce kiya hai to consumption bhi kya hoga reduce aur yahan par consumption kitna reduce ho gaya hai 675 tak beta now students next we are talking about household consumption of electrical energy means how much electrical energy we are consuming over a period of time in our household or with the help of our household appliances agar hame wo calculate karna hai ki humne kitna energy consume kiya kyunki wo to karna padta hai because we have to pay the electricity bill so wo bill usi ke hisab se aata hai na humne 500 unit consume kiya 200 unit consume kiya so how can we calculate that wo hum kaise calculate kare ki humne kitna units consumed kiya hai that unit is calculated or this energy is calculated in one of the unit that is known as kilowatt hour jo aapka meter laga hota hai na ghar pe electricity meter jo aapka main board meter board laga hota hai wo humari units ko isme read out karta hai kilowatt hour mein okay means aap ek ghante mein kitna kilowatt energy use karte ho uske hisab se wo reading deta hai aur accordingly hume pay karna hota hai so how can we find it out इसके लिए एक फॉर्मूला हम यूज करते हैं एनर्जी कंजम्पशन कैन बी गिवन बाय दैट इज गिवन बाय पावर इन टू टाइम ओके एनर्जी को हम लिखते हैं पावर इन टू टाइम नाउ दिस पावर व्हिच वी आर कंज्यूमिंग वी आर मेजरिंग इन टू किलो वॉट क्योंकि ये मैंने बोला आपको किलो वॉट आर मीटर होता है एंड टाइम व्हिच वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हियर दैट इज गिवन इन आवर्स ओके अब सपोज हमारे पास किलो वॉट में हमें नहीं दिया हुआ है पावर वॉट में दिया हुआ है तो ये फार्मूला कैसे कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा दैट विल बी पावर अगर ये आपको वॉट में दिया है सो so इसको किलो वॉट में करने के लिए आप क्या करेंगे 1000